Welcome into this very special sit down, almost like a, like a town hall meeting uh, here with our, our Warren County School friends and of course, uh, Superintendent Rob Clayton. It's good to catch up with you again, Rob. How are you doing? Hey, doing great, Tony. It's always good to see you and yeah. uh, have an opportunity to speak with you. Yeah, and of course, uh, where we were a year ago to where we are now, it literally it was about one year ago that we really didn't know what the direction of school would be like for 2020, 2021, let alone what the future may look like in general. But I feel like now more than ever, Warren County schools are full steam ahead into uh, a, a school year and a school life that I think we as parents of Warren County school students have really been craving and missing. I'm excited about where we're going. Well, there's no doubt that we just finished and completed a very extraordinary year. Yeah. And we couldn't be more proud of how everyone rallied together to help us uh, make some very difficult decisions, all on behalf of our, our kids, but certainly yeah. our community as well. And we're very optimistic leading into the summer now, and yeah. uh, August 4th will be here before you know it. And we're optimistic that we will, we don't like to use the term normal because yeah. I don't know what is normal anymore. Better than normal. But That's better what we than use normal is what we tried to, yeah. to coin that phrase, mm -hmm. but we're optimistic that uh, much will uh, look familiar in the fall. Uh, we're optimistic that uh, we'll be able to not only start on time, but mm -hmm. not uh, have some of the, uh, the restrictions that have been uh, in place uh, due yeah. to the, the pandemic. Let's talk about that a little bit because if we head back on August 4th, I think school is gonna start to feel more and more like it did in 2019, which really was the last time I think that a lot of parents really felt that they were ingrained in the everyday life of their schools, uh, being on property and things like that. Let's just talk about it real quick. First of all, virtual learning, uh, it was an amazing tool to have uh, last year during COVID, but what is uh, the virtual option going to look like for this upcoming school year starting on August 4th? Well, it will look a little different than this previous year, but uh, very similar to prior to the pandemic. We will be offering a virtual academy as we uh, began that back in 2015 with Beacon Academy. Yeah. It will be a standalone virtual academy. It will not be associated with any of our schools. And, and that's important because yeah. with it being a standalone uh, virtual academy, uh, the students enrolled into Beacon Academy would not be uh, participating in yeah. school activities or extracurriculars uh, back at their uh, home yeah. school. Real quick too, let's talk about uh, what school is going to look like on August 4th. I know teachers are excited to see smiling faces of students back in their classrooms and uh, with that as well, uh, you know, uh, a five-day school week as well, Monday through Friday again as we're, as we're all accustomed to. Uh, trending where we are now and obviously things can change but where if school was if tomorrow was august 4th what do you think that first day of school is going to look like physically for uh, teachers and students out there well as you mentioned it is uh, day to day because yeah. we do uh, have to follow uh, certain restrictions and guidelines that are placed down upon us whether it's the governor's office or the cdc or our local uh, health officials but again we're optimistic that we'll be able to see the smiling faces uh, hopefully there won't be uh, any requirements for uh, mass coverings. Right. Uh, I know that's not uh, a desire of our Board of Education members or myself as uh, superintendent. I do want to encourage our entire community to uh, seek out the uh, vaccine if right. uh, they qualify for that. Certainly with our students, uh, that's going to be very important to them when we come back in the fall, especially if they're involved in extracurricular or co-curricular activities because under the current guidelines with the CDC, if you're vaccinated, and you do become uh, a potential exposure to a, a COVID-19 case, you would not have to quarantine uh, because you had the right. vaccine. So we're gonna encourage uh, everyone to, to strongly consider getting the vaccine. Uh, so if nothing else, uh, it doesn't disrupt uh, the, right. the learning environment or a potential opportunity for students in the fall. And of course, uh, for folks who are watching this, uh, if you're 12 and under or you're 12 and above now, That's 12 right. and over, you're eligible for the vaccines out there. And of course, they're readily available pretty much anywhere you want to go from, from a medical provider to even Walgreens, CVS's, places like that. So they're definitely out there and uh, fully vaccinated students. Again, if you're thinking about team sports and things like that, that could really help cutting down on, because there still be a level of contact tracing and things That's like right. that if something should happen, but that could really cut all of that off right at the pass. No, I, yeah. I agree. So again, we, mm -hmm. uh, we're willing to assist. We've assisted yeah. many families uh, in scheduling those uh, vaccines. We even uh, attempted to, to yeah. host that on site with uh, uh, 
uh, for students, but we just didn't have the, the amount of interest at that time. Yeah. And because again, this community has been out in front and a lot of our folks yeah. uh, were vaccinated very early on, which is a, a credit to uh, our local uh, health department and cer certainly our, our local hospitals as well. We love having visits like this with our superintendent, Rob Clayton and our friends from Warren County Schools. And we're excited as well to tell the story of Warren County Schools in this upcoming school year as we get back to normal and back to the way that I know so many parents out there of Warren County kids really want to see. Here but again, uh, so much going on. I can't wait to have more conversations like this as we make our way through the summer and into uh, school again. But how, speaking on behalf of you, your colleagues, your teachers, your principals, uh, in, in our Warren County schools, uh, how excited are you today versus where you were 12 months ago at this time? Like, what's your emotion speaking on behalf of Warren County schools? Well, it's much different, Tony. Obviously, yeah. when we reflect back to 15 months ago, there was a lot of unknown. Yeah. We feel very confident. We know what to expect moving forward. Again, the community has been tremendous in, in rallying with one another. It's given us a great opportunity to kind of reflect back on what our true purpose is. Yeah. And, and we're here to serve our, our students. Our students are our customers, our families, mm -hmm. and we want to do everything that we can to ensure that our students have an overall positive experience. We know yeah. there's going to be ups and downs just like we experience as adults, but overall it's very important to me as superintendent, our board, and certainly our, our staff across the district that our students have mm -hmm. a positive experience in our schools. And we're committed to doing that, and we always encourage uh, feedback from uh, parents, anybody in the community to help us be better because when we perform at a high level, our mm -hmm. kids are the beneficiaries. Uh, it's a win-win for this entire community and we're committed to doing that. We're excited for a uh, fantastic summer, heading into a fantastic fall as school starts back with fall festivals and packed football stadiums mm -hmm. on Friday night and all the things that we as parents of Warren County uh, kids are so excited about getting back to. Uh, we appreciate the hard work and effort that you guys as a board and as teachers and, and uh, principals and faculty and staff uh, to our bus drivers to the folks working Absolutely. in the cafeterias it's truly been a team effort as we've gotten through this and as we said 15 months ago you know uh, not just normal not just the new normal but better than normal and i really think it's going to be better as we head into the fall months ahead superintendent rob clayton i appreciate the time so much sitting down with us i can't wait to do this again appreciate being here and it's always good to see you and again a lot of excitement building as we uh, get back to some of those activities that uh, we probably took for granted yep. at, uh, back in the day so Looking forward to it.